Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Today, I was going through my perks on Freddy, and I've concocted a build that will hopefully be pretty nasty. I haven't tried it yet, but I was thinking about it, and basically, Freddy is really good at defending totems, somewhat, so Devour Hope is always a pretty good choice on him. So long as you have a good totem spot, Devour Hope can work out pretty well, since he can teleport to a nearby gen, um, and he can place snares on the totem, so he knows when someone's on it, as long as they're awake. And if he's constantly hitting people, people will always be asleep. Uh, this is even nastier with, like, the paintbrush, or a, a black box on the obsession, so only three survivors can possibly cleanse the totem without you knowing about it, mainly the paintbrush, but I wanted to kind of maximize this strength of Freddy's. And I don't have barbecue, so I'm really depending on, like, snares to tell me when people are on totems. But I want to make sure that, <laughs> basically, um, once this one-shot is active, I want to make sure people cannot, like, do much in the chase. Once I get my exposed status effect, I'm going to be pretty ruthless about pallets in the beginning. And once they're gone, any pallets that are left will obviously not work because of Spirit Fury, and I also have Enduring just to kind of running into the ground a little bit this this combo and then i also have to save this for last to make it so that i can injure people quickly and put them asleep so i can defend the totem i have no idea how this is going to work maybe i need to work in like barbecue or something we'll see how it goes if my totem gets destroyed in the first five seconds i'm gonna be sad okay pallet city this should be okay pallets are not gonna be a big deal and this map will kind of run that into the ground a little bit. Once these pallets are gone, and I'm going to be really good about that, uh, this should be a pretty bad time for them. And my Devour Hope is right in the middle of everything. This Claudette has already seen it. That's lovely. We have some snares down here. Should go down pretty quickly. Dead hard, maybe? No. Okay. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do <laughs> to keep her away from that totem. I guess we'll hook her... Ah, oh, whatever. I'm lazy. Um, this gen right here. Okay. Pretty sure there's someone on that other one too. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. I want stacks more than anything, but we're gonna try to prevent Bill from getting the save here. Yeah, they they've all seen the totem. Were there two there, or was that just Bill? I must have had like a toolbox or something, because Jesus. Bill. Oh. Buddy. Wow, actually made that. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! This man is optimal. How did he make that corner? Good about him saying here he's gonna get his teammate killed. Or put the second state. Perfect. Trapped of our hope. I want stacks though. Please. Let me get out of range. Yes, I'm perfectly out of range. That's the dream right there. Everyone's asleep except for Claudette. Which means it's time to ruthlessly tunnel her. Pretty sure she's gonna stay away from the totem here. Okay. Cool. All I care about is stacks, so. There we go. But if Claudette's over here. One of them can get on the totem. You know, ev all four people are here, yeah. I kind of don't want to chase you, but you're really stupid, so. Sure thing, I guess. We're going to leave her now. Because she's already asleep. Bill? Close. Let's go for David here. As long as I'm here, no one can touch the totem. Getting my stacks back. Go pressure that gen a little bit. I don't have pop or anything to help with gens. Looks like they're just healing, which is good. Time for me to get David down here. To play the pallet safe. Whoa, okay, he went for the window. Now he's going for distance. But I don't need that, so he's fine. Right, yeah, they're healing. Dead hard, probably. 
There it is. Right into a dream snare, my dude. This will be my third stack. Once you get saved. And looks like they don't care about the totem. Which is good. Oh, I heard you. Come on, man. What are these whiffs? Don't farm him. Good. Okay. The dune gun's pretty fast. That's fine. Really got to keep this totem up. Okay. I downed her before he got saved. So they don't know how to devour hope just yet. They will in a second. Just, we have a three gen right here. It's nice. Just double checking. It's safe. Alright, we're just gonna work with this three gen that I've just noticed. And defend the totem. Put some stairs down, because I have not been doing that for whatever reason. Beautiful three gen. There we go. That's stack number four. They can't even heal at all. Oh. Um, wait. Hey, what's up, Bill? Okay. Now they know it's Devour Hope. They're probably going to go for it now. Since everyone knows where it is. Especially Claudette. She's probably running right to it. And she's also awake. Was that Claudette? Please. Okay, now you're healing. Five stacks, huh? Oh, someone thinks they're being cheeky by disarming these snares. Hey, David. You've filled your position, bud. I can worry you. I have spear if you're. I don't know why I played that safe. <laughs> I can make this. Unless he goes with the. But oh yeah, that's right, spear fury. Forgot about that. Okay. And now David's dead, and there's still three gens to do. This worked out pretty well. I don't know why they didn't try to hustle the totem, because I'm pretty sure they saw him. Also, like, very not smart. But it's just kind of chilling, and I have a three gen. So I'm going to play this kind of safe right now. Since this Star Hope is my only leverage right now. And if I lose it, that's going to be pretty bad for me. Hi. You're dead as well. Thank God they're all dying right next to the totem so I can kind of... Also, I'm in the wall. So I can kind of defend it. Okay. Now it's a 2v1. And Bill's in the locker. Did you try to head on me? I'm confused, Bill. That's, that's three. Let's see if we can find the hatch. It just spawned, so she's not sitting on it. I can jailport to that side of the map once I've covered all this. Although I'm just gonna kind of bait it. There we go. That was lucky. Adrenaline. Nope. We're next to one of these gates. So what we can do is just trap this and then literally sit on the other one, and she can't do anything. But we're gonna we're gonna trap this one instead of instead of sitting on it, of course, since they're, they're these are pretty close. It's really good RNG for me. And I see her. <laughs> I see her. Hi, Claudette. Oh, dude, she's a god. All right. Nice pallet. GG. We got a four-man Devour Hope on the first game. I don't know if I got a lot of use out of Spirit Fury. I mean, Freddy doesn't really need Spirit Fury since snares literally just make pallet interactions so easy. You don't need Enduring. And also Spirit Fury, it's extremely redundant. I wonder how they felt about that. Literally one perk. Alright, MMR. I see how it is. Match me with someone with one perk. Okay, so I've altered the build slightly. Um, instead of Enduring and Spirit Fury, which was extremely redundant for Freddy. He doesn't really need pallet stopping potential. He's got tons of it built into his kit. 
Um, I replaced them for Barbecue and Infectious Fright, which are more kind of like location-based perks. Um, barbecue gives me information on everyone in the match. So it tells what I should be doing as a killer in order to establish pressure. And Infectious Fright helps me since they're all running around the totem, which will likely happen if I get further into a Devour Hope match. Um, Infectious Fright will help me locate survivors who are sneaking around trying to do the totem and also um, increase the snowball with Devour Hope. Normally it's just down one person and then that's it. Whereas with Infectious Fright I could down multiple people, which has a high likelihood of happening since when when you're like orbiting around a totem, Survivors being close to each other is uh, is very likely. So maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm not sure about this one. Shelterwoods does not have a lot of pallets, but it's also pretty big. Uh, where's the totem? I think that's priority number one right here. Okay, right here. Strap it first and foremost. Oh my god, they spawned right on it. Is this true? Hi, Bill. Well, there's no pallet on the tile with the virus, hope, so that might be helpful. Right now, everyone's awake, so I gotta be extra careful with this. Uh, immediately getting infectious fry value. You. you still here? Is she still here? Maybe she just, like, scurried off somewhere. I'm not sure. Anyway, slugging at the beginning of the match is not ideal. We're going to get this guy on the hook. Is the basement here? Oh, it is. Infectious Fright is going to be very good now. And the totem is right next to this area. So I can just kind of like, kind of proxy camp this. Not actually, but you know. Yeah. And there's a gen right next to it as well. Just to... She thought I teleported. <laughs> um, I need to retrap this. Okay. We're good now. Everyone's asleep, so no one's gonna no one's gonna get on that without me knowing about it. Okay, we do our hope stack number one. Serena snuck by. No our or uh, no borrowed time, so I guess I'll just slug you. Okay, it's great for me. No infectious fright. I don't know if it counts for a locker. Maybe it doesn't, but totem's trapped anyway, and no one's on it. This is great. If Bill's got the, uh, DS, I'm just gonna let him use it. Let's bait that. I hear Kate. What are you doing? There's a hook right here, you know that, right? Okay. Cool. Well, let's make this area a dead zone, why don't we? I don't really want to chase this person, because this is in Devour Hope range. Yeah, case in point. On the totem. Cool, I got stacks here. I feel bad tunneling this guy. That's what he gets for going for the totem. I'm just going to slug him again. Okay. It's a bit trickier than I... Suspected. They're going that way. Let's pick up Kate here. Or whoever's going for. Farmer. Cool. Let's hit her. So she has to worry about healing. Wait. Oh no, she's injured. Wait, I just hooked you, so let's go for Kate. Let's help you an asshole here. I really thought she was healthy. <laughs> okay. I have three people slugged right now. But I'm really trying to make Devour Hope work here. Maybe the basement wasn't such a good idea since it's very easy to not be in range with the basement. Everyone's still asleep, so. Just kind of chilling. I really don't know what to do here. If I can get her in the basement, I can get immediately up to four stacks. But Bill's hiding behind a tree or something here. Or one, someone is. Like right here. But I'm really, really gonna try to get out of range here. Ah, here we are. I need stacks! I just got out of range, though. I, 
I got that. Not on the totem. Okay. okay. There's three stacks. I'm just slugging a bunch. I threw God Pallet. This is going not the way I wanted at all. I'm not getting any progress towards stacks. The basement was definitely like a cuck with this whole str Oh, I just hooked you. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to pick you up. No, that's that's fair. I accidentally told her. I'm gonna go back for Zarina here. Actually, I just hooked Zarina. There are two Zarinas in this match, so I'm not sure which one I hooked. That's one of them. Hi. I think I hooked the other one, so let's go for this guy. Hopefully get some more stacks going here. There, everyone's uh Wait, did I retrap the totem? Okay, they're not on it. I did retrap it. Okay, we're cool. They're probably like healing or something, whatever. They're all one shot, so what's the point? Or they're hustling gens, or they're looking for the totem. Even though the totem is like in plain sight and everyone knows where. To oh, okay then. Hi. Where did you come from? I think you're dead, right? I would have liked to mori you, but. Are you dead? Whoopsie. Well. There's my fourth stack. I really did. That really sucks that Bill's dead hook. The basement was definitely cuck with this. I guess someone here. Nice heals, by the way. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, though? Infectious Fright again. I was really planning on Infectious Fright helping me once I had... Mori ready. And you're dead too! And everyone's awake, so they could accidentally like, break this if they wanted to. They were here. Hi. Okay. Well, I got nothing in terms of Moris from Devour Hope this match. I don't know if this is a success or a failure. She killed herself. Let's preemptively trap this gate. She's asleep again, so she'll trigger the trap if she wants to get rid of the totem. Okay, hatch hunt. I see her. I should go for her. This map is huge. Likelihood of finding the hatch is very unlikely. Hi. I don't even get to five stacks. This is terrible. This is not how I wanted this to go. Well, that sucks. They're probably just like extremely pissed and I'm just like, oh man, the pill didn't work. I mean, I guess it worked. I used the one shot a lot, but it was, I was planning on like getting Moris back to back with like Infectious Fright, like getting up to five stacks really quickly without them being able to stop it. And then just like, bam, one person down, Infectious Fright, and then I get like two Moris. I mean, it was fine. It worked, but yeah. Inner strength, two inner strengths. Alright. Sweat. <laughs> dude, you're. Dude, you're. S you're so right. Well played, all. I'm just doing a fun build, man. Fun little quirky build. Sweating? You see any sweat here? I don't think so. If you decimate a team, all of a sudden, I'm being sweaty. I was just trying to build, man. <laughs> Whatever. So that was the build that instantly made me lose my reputation at Dead by Daylight. It went okay. Devour Hope is pretty strong on Freddy anyway. I was trying to make a build that encapsulates that. It went well. 
maybe I'll throw this on some other day and we'll see how well it goes uh, in different circumstances. But, uh, yeah. Bye, guys.